for democracy, for liberty, and for super earth. This video contains uh, many certifiable thought crimes. Helldivers 2 <laughs> is an amazing co-op shooter that- There's a lot of crimes. I mean, uh, um, uh, served liberty, I mean, yes. Plays exactly like No Man's Sky. What? Except instead of exploring the cosmos, you uh... <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> You go to planets, destroy the wildlife, and collect materials. Huh. Actually, yeah, it's kind of similar when I think about it. Die horribly in the psalm. Oh, yeah, Every I mean, that too. <laughs> is, uh, it is personalized. Joel wanted me to fight 10,000 fire hands. In a universe, God damn Joel. is beset on all sides by curious wildlife and the actual... Honestly, I don't know what to think about, like, the whole Joel thing. On one hand, it's, like, kind of cruel having, like, a DM kind of, you know, storyteller. But at the same time, it feels like it's kind of taking away the agency of the players. Because before we knew about Joel, we like actually felt like, yeah, we're fighting. <laughs> we're making a difference. And now there's like the real possibility that how hard we fight, it doesn't really matter if Joel can like just change it again or something. I don't know if I, if I, if I think it's good or not. Terminators, Super Earth, the Super galaxy's Earth. last and only bastion of managed democracy, sends yes. its finest men, women, and children over seven to liberate <laughs> and spread freedom to the <laughs> I'm doing my part. <laughs> the most horrifying hellscapes known to man, where war crimes are not only justified, Normal day in hell diving. but are necessary. We play as the Helldivers, humanity's finest in emancipation and friendly fire incidents. <laughs> <laughs> There's no need to worry about I feel like that wasn't an accident. Got that last one because we are incredibly expendable. No, this the happens galaxy, way too often. Liberty's enemies march ever closer, but through the power of teamwork, friendship, and 500 kilogram bombs, and we freedom. will fight for freedom, yes. for democracy, Super. and most importantly, Super. because it's really funny. Oh, yeah, Dudes that's... be like Helldivers 2 is military propaganda. My brother in Christ, it worked. Triple the defense budget. <laughs> Damn, what is the song? Super will never die. Damn, that's an awesome song, actually. I need to listen to this later. Ah. Extra needs to do like crazy intro or, or like trailers for video games <laughs> i feel like that would like double the amount that's be, uh, being bought first thing you'll notice upon entering the ses judge of judgment oh, is nice. the incredibly stupid name and yes you are able to name it other things using the wizard 101 naming scheme <laughs> things like the pride of pride star <laughs> of the stars patriot yes. of patriotism mm, and my good, personal good. favorite the founding father of family values <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what's my ship called again? Uh, Defender of Freedom or something? Super lame when I think about it. Because this game has a lot of violence in movies. Uh, <laughs> you're familiar? <laughs> oh, here you see me depicted as the Soy Wojak. <laughs> the second thing you'll notice upon entering the bridge is the ongoing galactic war. And that oh we are god. currently fucking losing the galactic war. No, oh, Malevolent Creek. Oh my god. I remember a time where I like, was in there non-stop for a week. I, I don't like to think back on, on that period of my life. That's why we need to suit up with exactly three of our friends and choose which planet is in vital need of the democratic process. <laughs> if you would. Let me guess, it's all the planets. Don't have any friends, then uh, I hope you can speak good Mandarin. I think I did something to make you happy. <laughs> but to win the Galactic War, we must first understand the Galactic War. We can ill afford another Malevolent Creek. Which is no. why I'm going to go over each of the two fronts that are currently reducing us to smears across the galaxy. Wait, didn't we like last week or something destroy all of the robots? But they somehow went, came back. Uh oh. And uh, I'm going to do it at difficulty 7 or above, which is coincidentally the perfect enlistment age on the Oh, left so that's what a super rare sample is. <laughs> Inside of the political spectrum, we have the Automaton Front, an enemy focusing on range tactics, heavy armor in slight excess, and an extremely high amount of explosive ordnance. And oh, flame oh, here, guys. Later. If that sounds up, guys, what do you think is like worse to fight, the robots or the bugs? I feel like just because of like the range capabilities of the automatons, I feel like they're a tiny notch more difficult. Although uh, bile titans are, you know. <laughs> There are a force to reckon with. Then again, like freaking tanks are as well. A little bit intimidating? Then don't worry. 
I haven't even gotten to the horde of angry chainsaw. Nah. <laughs> chainsaw Just use a breaker, easy. <laughs> but talking about the automaton front is never complete without talking about the, the fucking creek. creek. Oh or, my god. As it is known by our honored veterans, I was there. Space Vietnam. This I was there, chat. Planet has been single-handedly responsible for most of our casualties. <laughs> my leg! <laughs> SpongeBob. And that is genuinely impressive, considering that uh, 10 million men have already died in the Battle of the Madagascar Lemur. Those are considered rookie numbers, and we're already outpacing the Taiping Rebellion. In fact, every single military operation we conduct is in a, some way related to Malevolent Creek. <laughs> and personally, I don't really... It's the home planet of the robot. <laughs> At least it feels like that sometimes. See what all the hype is about. After all, it's just one planet. Oh my god, How is he gonna eat his own words? What's so bad about the creek? <laughs> ah! <laughs> Wait, is that Alex Jones? <laughs> I think I said this like in one of my streams, like <laughs> it's the perfect game to have like Alex Jones lines in it. They're demons! <laughs> they're demons, they're robots! <laughs> Other dimension aliens. Distinguish the universe, God has laid them out like Christmas <laughs> for his children. Boot has got fucking Love weird game. <laughs> Somebody needs to like bot that, yeah. The rest of the front is essentially an exercise in how much PTSD one man can possibly get. Their firepower is so overwhelming, yes. so absolutely constant, that describing it as an endless retreat where you accidentally accomplish all of your objectives would be very generous, as it implies that I do the I objectives. Mean, it is what it is, though. <laughs> this can occasionally push you into what we call a unfortunate tactic. <laughs> At which point, your main options for survival are going to be uh, no. watching your slower friends get burned to death. In the nah. <laughs> I will never oh, argue that. No. <laughs> Although I feel like I've, I've figured out how to fight them, actually. Just lay down and then 90% of the shots don't hit you. Except if it's a tank. Or a tower. Or just new flying ships. Or rockets. Actually, never mind. Yeah, laying down doesn't work. This planet may be what economists call a bad use of our human capital. But after dealing with several days of what I can only describe as angry forklift decommissioning. Oh shit, this motherfucker's not OSHA certified. You really need a step ladder for that, sir. Okay, call me crazy, but I think there's a turret around this corner, guys. God, I fucking hate the creek. I can you safely say that now. the attachment has become fucking personal. And honestly, I... Just want to see how many bodies one planet can hold. We lost Vietnam. We lost Afghanistan. What? And oh, yet, that's true. We definitely lost America. So, goddammit, I am not going to lose this shit to ones and zeros. God gave this galaxy to a non binary species, and service <laughs> guarantees gender affirmation. Uh, fun facts about the bot front. Number 10. Man urinates on fellow passenger for not being allowed to smoke. Number what? 9. If you happen to make the mistake of fighting here, your quick number seven will blow your mind. Going to realize that most of our forces are Chinese, each one taking a Is that true? What? I've never noticed. Play. Although I guess I played with friends, so <laughs> I don't think my friends are Chinese. They work in very auspicious behavior, and conversely, we Guaylo have been sent by our barbarian prince to fight the hordes of angry roaches. For it is the yeah. God-given right of the defense lobby to remind the bugs. That it is man who was made in God's image. <laughs> really can't wait to die on fucking, uh, t legally distinct Clendathu. The what? terminated front, sorry, the terminated population problem is a wide assortment uh, yeah. of increasingly horrifying demons. Each one abandoned by their creators in completely different ways. Uh, my, my guy has got a bad case of the rigor mortis. <laughs> We've got small bugs, big bugs, immortal it's bugs. It's always so weird when they, like, melt into the ground. <laughs> bugs. Bugs that function as artillery. No, and I hate those. Oh, stalkers. Oh, my night. God. Although I'm not sure what's worse. The stalkers, the hunters, or like the new flying ones. Uh, I feel like they're like all S-tier in getting fucked over with. Thankfully for us, though, Napalm is an equal opportunity employer. And, uh... I love how they're buffed, right I love it. That is to say, once you start fighting the bugs, you do not stop for about... 40 <laughs> minutes or so. Because, that uh, is true. Because, uh, spawned a battalion from the ground, like the goddamn Viet Cong, for the third they time just row, keep coming. I do not have enough raid for this shit. Uh oh. Good fucking. Nah. <laughs> I, I just want to walk to the McDonald's, guys. I'm just a level one goblin. It's do you literally... guys like. Do you like using the dog? I mean, if you use it yourself, it's okay, I'm guessing, but whenever my teammates use it, I also always die from them. <laughs> so I grew. Uh, yeah, I've grown a hatred of these guys. They're almost like as worst as the automatons. My birthday. I'm a little birthday boy. 
And do you want to know the worst part about this war? We, uh, don't really know how they move between planets. And I don't think they have what you would call a plan. Rather, the Terminids simply appear in places they wish to eviscerate. Kind of like a Whole Foods. Kind of weird how that happens. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe our radio tower could tell us how, how that's going to happen. So, uh, you can imagine my shock when I learned that those white bitches were trying to gentrify the moon. They are ruining the amazing local culture of, uh... What? I've never California. seen it. I hope it's becoming obvious that fighting these things under normal circumstances is what we call a same-day shipping to God. Ah! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Fortunately for us, though, we I have... I love that clip where, like, somebody, like, getting out a grenade and then just jumping in one of the freaking terminal holes. <laughs> As to a wide variety of unique and hilarious tools, which are only accessible by inputting a series of hand signs. In oh no, no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh my god. Why did you have to show me this? I can't, I can't unsee this anymore. <laughs> oh no, it's just jutsu finger signs, oh no. <laughs> Informally known as... Airstrike Jutsu. No. Nah. <laughs> airstrikes. Bigger airstrikes. Oh biggest airstrike the engine can sustain. Or airstrikes that specialize in killing everything except the enemy. There are yeah. so many bad Every guys. Every second one you meet. So much damage to be done that the most challenging part is keeping your team out of the blast radius. I got 500 kilograms ready. No, uh -oh. it's next to them. It's next to them. Get out of there. <laughs> what have you fucking done? No. And yes, you do have to throw them. Which means oh, what happens if you like throw one at the, the big missile? Does it explode too? I don't think so. But it would be pretty cool. <laughs> means you can drop them, throw the wrong asset, and even attach them to enemies. Oh no, that's the worst. <laughs> My personal favorite combination is definitely the napalm and chlorine gas for when you really, really want your enemies to feel pain. Oh. Inside and out. We also offer a gluten-free variety. Now, of course, airstrikes aren't the only thing we can deliver. Just most of them. Because here at the Defense Department, we take care to provide... To, to provide... To provide... I mean, what is the, the other option? I guess support weapons and tourists, maybe. Why can't I say words? A oh, wide array mag. of support tools. And oh, yeah, by support go. tools, I mean the machine gun, which are <laughs> crucial and necessary for fighting a... I want to like the machine gun, but it's like, it only works against like the light armored enemies. And the problem is usually the heavy armored ones. <laughs> Literally anything. We've got flamethrowers, jetpacks, nice. automatic lasers that demand human sacrifice, <laughs> average American police tanker, there we go, freaking guard dogs, ammo, automatic targeting, and a vendetta against teammates <laughs> for when you really hate everything in a general direction, railguns that encourage you to fire volleys like Napoleonic yeah. line infantry. Oh, did, did somebody try, like a four-man group with like the, the arc, arc um, resistance for 90% with the new armor sets and whatever, and then everybody gets the arc for... Uh, is that viable? <laughs> because like a lot of enemies take like five to ten hits, like the, the charger, for example. But if everybody shoots it, it's like two shots per person. Plus, it's kind of like AoE, right? So all the small shit dies too. It sounds like it would be kind of useful. It also has two fire modes called safe mode oh, and really unsafe like mode. <laughs> and of course, the uh, giant death robots that randomly explode sometimes. <laughs> what? That is the last time I buy a fucking Tesla. <laughs> My uh, personal favorite strategy involves everyone giving their mechs to the designated disabled man who will proceed <laughs> to stay inside of six different wheelchairs. Oh, that for sounds 40 awesome, minutes. actually. And as a caveat, we force him to crawl on the ground between mechs <laughs> for immersion reasons. <laughs> I mean, just shoot his legs, you know, and then. Don't allow him to heal. <laughs> but honestly, all of these fantastic tools absolutely pale in comparison to the fast and convenient resupply of gamer subs energy drinks. Oh my god, a what the second to your gaming abilities. Which, if you want to win this battle, I will now expect of you. We in the Chinese are That's the real reason why we kill the bugs. To get enough gamer subs, let's go. <laughs> I'm going to be taking back Osto 2 on eight hours of sleep. But uh they did also release a sleep aid. In case somebody gives you too much energy, <laughs> how am I getting away with this shit? Gamer Subs comes in many different flavors, such yes. as Guacamole Gamer Fart 9000. Actually, I, I think I've tried like a handful already. I feel like a sweet six pack 
What's the best one so far for me personally? Grandpa's ashes and a What's your favorite gamer stuff? It's well, it's, it's <laughs> just good. All at the low price of 40 cents per stratagem, which is literally cheaper than the dirt I am dying over. I uh went to Amazon and checked. So if you are still watching this video somehow, and uh, God bless you if you are, you can have gamer subs delivered with 10% off by opening Wait, the Wait, was that like a teaser? Is he gonna make a Dragon's Dogma 2 video? God bless you if you are. You can have gamer subs delivered with 10% off by opening the description and clicking the special stratagem code. What else do we have? Uh, uh, we have sentry guns, in case you really don't want to play the game, <laughs> as well as a strange amount of primaries that are child safe. Can't wait for the devs to nerf this one and say some shit like, sorry, Helldivers. Command sent us Rigatoni instead of Railgun shells. Now, uh, in this kind of environment, uh -oh. with this many fireworks, <laughs> casualties are not just expected. They are They're required. Mandatory. Yes. <laughs> you, uh, don't really get to it's an all part of the game. Easy game. Which is why, upon the occurrence of my teammate's tragic passing, I will gain the ability to replace my friends oh, with thanks. a legally distinct Helldiver, oh. ready to fight and die for the worst planets you have ever seen. Like my brother in Christ, you are fighting over the Arizona Ice-T world. Missions in this game are usually comprised of exploring new and fantastic worlds, and then building a Walmart supercenter on them. Local <laughs> residents be damned. To that end, we have a great diversity of missions, like geological surveys, rescuing civilians who move their heads like confused avians. Hello! <laughs> It's one of the spies, the other baton spies. Chicken! Spreading industrial amounts of carcinogenic gas and launching the fucking nuclear missile. Best mission. We Best it, mission. Patrick. We saved Istanu, along with a myriad of side objectives, which usually boil down to, uh, killing everything that moves. <laughs> and occasionally, loading a gun that will do it for you. We, uh, don't really talk about the eradicate missions because they tend to play themselves. All in service bam, to bam. liberate a planet by an astounding 0. 0.000. 3%. Yes. <laughs> this isn't a fucking charity, all right? Reach 100% liberation Maybe steps. and lose all of it the very next day. I am currently reporting to you from the fifth Siege of Helldiver. Planets and Helldivers also have a unique blend of beautiful environments. That's like true. the Heaven Planet, where it is <laughs> oh, no, I hate that one. impossible to escape God's light. The... Uh, I play in my basement. I'm allergic to the sunlight. Constant meteor storm planet, where it is illegal to stand still. The fire tornado planet. That's kind of funny though. Weird fucking animal. Damn, those mods for hell ever look crazy. <laughs> planet. I'm going to call you a Genghis Shingles Ringer. Mm. And the planet that, before it was removed from the game, randomized your airstrikes. Oh, that one, yeah. the process of calling a resupply. <laughs> Ah, uh, this happens too often. <laughs> like, my team dropped into one of those uh, missions. And then, you know, the usual thing you do in the start of a mission is, like, you know, throw all the support weapons and backpacks on the ground. I kind of wanted to, like, go a different pathway, like, do, like, side missions while the, the rest does, like, the main thing. So I, like, ran away for, like, 100 feet or whatever. And then I was like, ah, oh, you know what? I, I forgot to summon my support weapon. I dropped them down, and then I looked behind me. <laughs> And there's like six freaking stratagems bombarding the start area. <laughs> and all my friends die. Much more interesting. Please put this back in the game. Look, Helldivers is a game that gives you a lot of tools. And a lot of places to use them. So honestly, the task of describing it all to you is uh, Oof. not my fucking job. The developers are literally adding things. Oh my god, this happened to me actually. I was like using the auto cannon. And my, my buddies usually like to use the, the shield backpack, right? But then I was like trying to shoot past my friends, but the shield was like, you know, like bigger <laughs> around them. <laughs> so I shot the shield, killed myself and broke their shield. Good times. Faster than I can show them to you. I uh, began making this video before mechs existed. So inevitably, nice. when the day comes... Ah, oh, I need to farm a lot of super credits. I'm so far behind in all the freaking war bonds. Comes that Arrowhead adds the secret third faction that we don't legally know anything about. <laughs> I guess I'll be making a video. What? A third? As long act? as this one gets views. Overall, Helldivers 2 is an absolute chaotic mess where every mission begins and True. ends with the assumption that we are not going to make it. And yet, somehow. Guys, is this like happening to you as well? You play like on difficulty 7, 8, or 9 with your buddies, and it's sure it's kind of difficult or whatever, but you're like managed to do the missions, right? Like, oh, it was challenging, but, you know, you know, I went through it. 
then you try to play by yourself on like difficulty free, like challenging or whatever it's called. Then you get your ass ripped open. What? <laughs> How's that even logical? Some way, I still find a way to disappoint my friends. Some yep. may consider it difficult, while others may consider it fucking bullshit. But personally, surviving against all odds in the face of complete, absolute absurdity oh <laughs> is a big reason that I still love this game. No True. matter how many game-breaking bugs they introduce. Uh, so Honestly, I never really noticed game-breaking bugs. All oh, except one. Dude, <laughs> I was fighting like the terminals and then I was like going around the corner trying to like um, destroy like a hive thing. And then I was a Isle Titan, but he looked weird because he had like eight legs. Then I looked closer and it was like 10 Bile Titans stacked into each other. <laughs> Sorry, Helldivers. This gun's accuracy rating is so high that it causes integer overflow. And with the Galactic War still ongoing, our story of spreading managed democracy has only just begun. True. Genocide, right? We have the ships. We have the weapons. Join us! We need soldiers. Soldiers like the uh, angry Chinese guy. Service guarantees affordable health care. They'll keep fighting and they'll win. As Ooh, long the as the Chinese, what? <laughs> On a more personal note, the Ministry of Truth extends its gratitude to all of its very kind patrons, enabling mm, and yes, financing yes. our propaganda. Guys, on I also a have a patron. <laughs> scale. Your money is and being put to way. excellent We're... use, making only the funniest and most original content. <sighs> Anyways, uh, time to report to my execution now. Oof. We need to talk to your freedom officer. Because some of those sentences, I don't know if they were celebrating democracy all too much. Hmm, suspicious.